36 years ago. April 26, 1 a.m. 1986. Before the fall and the end of the Soviet Union, by five years, there was a human error. In nuclear reactor number four in northern Ukraine, it changed the whole world for many years. You will not die alone. If you die, we'll die together, or we will survive both. Chernobyl disaster. An accident at the Chernobyl atomic power station. The Russians confirmed. One of the atom it was one of the reasons the USSR ended. Welcome to Britain. It became the biggest and worst nuclear disaster in the world. We're going to Chernobyl. Today we've arrived in Ukraine, in the capital, Kyiv. Chernobyl is a two-hour drive from the capital. But we're going in a different manner, an unusual one. It's a bit scary. We'll get in a helicopter in a bit. Off to Chernobyl. This is a frozen river. We'll go in a private helicopter, like the day a helicopter crashed on the day of the explosion when they tried to clean the radiation. The situation was a little scary, but we'll see some areas from above in Chernobyl. In the name of Allah, okay? Entrance there is forbidden. Okay, the journey has begun. There's a war going on between Russia and Ukraine, and we're going to Chernobyl, which is at the borders with Belarus. Okay guys, three years ago we went to Fukushima Prefecture in Japan where a nuclear power plant had exploded because of an earthquake which caused a tsunami and a lot of people died. And we talked about abandoned cities there that nobody wanted to live in because there's still radiation. We said in that video that that was the worst disaster in Japan regarding radiation. However, where was the biggest nuclear radiation disaster in the world? When you hear of nuclear disasters in the world, the biggest and worst throughout history is Chernobyl. No disaster in the world had spread as much as it did. Radiation spread from Ukraine to Sweden and to many European countries. It's right here, in Ukraine. There's still radiation in areas that are forbidden to enter to this day. This radar is close to the reactors. It feels strange getting close to the four reactors and you see this arch that was built over the exploded reactor. To go deeper, we had to get in a car and go by ourselves. Okay, once you enter, once you enter um, Chernobyl, Chernobyl is a city and the power plant was named after it, but there are cities that were damaged more. No one is living here. Why? Uh, because this village is evacuated and no resettlers remain in here. There is radiation. This territory is exclusion zone. This was a hospital? It used to be a hospital 37 years ago. So these houses, schools and hospitals, strange things, man. May God protect us. We are entering each city. Now we're entering Chernobyl. Okay, and there's a sign of welcome in here. Welcome to Chernobyl. This is the original one. From the Soviet Union, this sign. That's the statue of the founder of the USSR. This city is calm, unusual silence, oh my god. That's called a radar. It was a secret in the Soviet Union. They uh, didn't know why it was here. But in fact, this was a defense system against missiles. This used to defend against missiles. The USSR was unbelievable during the Cold War because there were two nuclear powers. They vibrate, sending the missiles back in the air. Vroom. Each of those is catching signal. 
it would turn the missile back up and send it back to the US where it came from. And this is next to the plant. Because they believed if war happens only in Ukraine, it will happen to the whole world. You will not die alone. If you die, we will die together or we will survive both together. Radiation didn't reach Kiev. The most damaged country was Belarus because winds blew towards Belarus, Poland, and reached Sweden. Can you imagine? Despite Kiev being the closest, it received only a small amount of radiation. And this is Chernobyl city. We'll enter it now. The first city we entered was totally abandoned. The second city on the map, everything around the plant or the reactor that exploded, a 30 kilometer radius was affected. This uh, town looks so quiet and peaceful because this town is frozen uh, forever in ages of Soviet Union. Nothing changed since ages. Names of the streets are the same as they were in Soviet Union. Uh, monuments are the same, no advertising around, no trash. Yeah, because this town looks the same as it was uh, in Soviet Union. Everything happened because an explosion of one of the reactors, a human error. It's called Chernobyl Power Plant. It had four nuclear reactors and the explosion was in one of them. Reactor number four, which was in movies and documentaries. When the accident happened, Ukraine had been under the Soviet Union. This is reactor number four, where the explosion happened. Reactor number four is under that arch. It's not dangerous. It's so much dangerous, man. This was an energy plant. They put tons of concrete to trap radiation and uh, cover it. They built that arch and totally closed it. There's radiation underground. It's right in front of us. But we don't know if one day this gets opened again and the arch explodes and radiation escapes. Uh, exactly here, no, because uh, they clean the area for workers. They clean this area, they renew everything here. So they are names uh, of uh, workers, of people who died because of the accident. Uh, from here I cannot take pictures of the power plant. It's a strange city, there are sounds. Factory sounds and silence at the same time. Nobody's talking. Look, right now, I am two steps away from reactor number four. The human error, the explosion that caused the disaster, the biggest in the world. It's like they paved this road and the rest of the area all have radiation. A terrifying sound here. Glory be to God. After the catastrophe, everything that was inside the reactor was thrown away like from the cannon. So graphite, uh, concrete, uh, metal construction, they fell here around. And uh, they had to clean all this territory. Uh, they tried to use robots and machinery. It was more effective here on the ground. So we stay any summer here. Yeah, it's under the arch. Do you know that this was the biggest and worst nuclear disaster in history? Based on its spread, not on casualties. Because when the explosion happened, very few people died. A month after that, 30 people died. Radiation kills you over time, so they couldn't count the casualties. It causes cancer in the thyroid. May God protect us and heal the sick. They say that 10 to 90,000 people died. Each country gave a number, but they're not certain of these numbers because they didn't know how to count. They say that this arch is the biggest in the world and it cost $2 billion. The French built it and brought it here. They built it somewhere else and put it on the site to cover reactor number four. The area around the reactor was evacuated of people on a 30 kilometer radius on all sides. One of the atomic reactors was damaged. Trees and plants died and life forms in this area and some forests became red. Chernobyl city is still an empty ghost town. This, this is the red forest, it's very, very contaminated area. Uh, so Red Forest uh, was pine forest damaged by a very high level of radiation. All trees, they became ginger yellowish they color. They say that once you cross this, it reaches 100. This area is full of radiation. Look at this sign. You can't cross from here. This is the most radiation contaminated area in the world. Look, this is called Red Forest. So over there, you can measure even hundreds or even thousands. Really? So we cannot cross Yes, there. we will not go further. Now, all these trees caught radiation and they cut them, but they couldn't clean the area. Then they said uh, they are elements that are very small and invisible. May Allah protect us all. The closer we are to this area, it becomes 
It became eight right now. Seven point seven. If we stay more than an hour, radiation may be stuck to all of our clothes. But people in Soviet Union, they used to keep silence, they used to keep secrecy. Otherwise, KGB will come to your house and then you'll be taken somewhere to Siberia. That's why people used to keep secrecy and told nothing about the strange thing they see. The closer you get, it makes sounds by itself without touching it. And that radiation has increased. Indeed, there is radiation, because as you know... Dangerous, uh, depending how long you uh, stay with these levels. Around 100, it's not a good idea to spend on this place. A lot. Yeah, minutes and uh, hours. This is Pripyat, guys. This is the most important one in Chernobyl when you hear of Chernobyl. Yeah, because there are very toxic elements like uranium, plutonium, americium, and there is chance to pick up some of these elements on your clothes or on your shoes. In the first 40 hours, this is the first city that was evacuated. They told them they'll bring them back after three days, and from that day in 1986, they haven't been back till now. This city is totally abandoned. Nobody's living here. Nobody can live here. There used to be an amusement park. We'll show it to you now. But this city all abandoned. Yes, all the city is abandoned. No one is living here. It's like a ghost town. This is a ghost town with zero inhabitants. Remember Japan? It's like this here, but this is on a larger scale. I mean, here there are buildings, apartment buildings. You'll even see the Soviet Union sign everywhere. And this is an amusement park because this city is the most dangerous. It's right next to reactor number four. Never put it on the ground because there could be radiation elements. She even told me not to sit on the ground. Why is now doing tick, 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 tick? I think there is too much radiation now. Look at this building. It's from the days of the Soviet Union. Look, totally abandoned. Radiation is very high here. They wrote that it's forbidden to enter to this building. The same happened in Japan. The ghost town, guys. 